Hey guys, welcome back, it's Maverick here, and with, of course, another episode of Shaman King. Uh, I expect this episode to have a lot more dialogue in it, especially in regards to Rue, at least that's how I remember it, but judging from the episode title, uh, we might get a sneak peek of some very important um, characters to come in the future. Right, uh, and in the meantime, well, we still got this Dracula situation to deal with. Obviously, it's not over yet because we left on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Right, uh, we haven't really shown the defeat of, of Dracula yet. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it and see how they adapt this particular um, this particular arc. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. I guess I shouldn't say arc. This particular well, yeah, actually, maybe you can say arc. Best place more. Obviously, that skill he's using right there uh, is in reference to the... Um, oh, what's it called in English again? Ariachi or something of that sort? You know, the, the like eight-headed snake slash dragon slash monster, whatever you want to call it. Actually, what is it called? Ori... Oriachi? Or Orochi? Sorry, I'm just trying to... Oh yeah, Orochi. Orochi. All right, there, there we go. Yamato no Orochi. <laughs> Oriachi. <laughs> what the hell is an Oriachi? Uh... Oh, by the way, I think I, I heard somewhere that uh, that um, the next episode of Shaman King is going to be delayed uh, due to the Olympics. No Shaman King, right? I'll double check after this finishes, just to make sure. And, yep. Tenshi no Pistol. Although, even though I remember this part, I don't quite remember like what happened. It's just the thing to warm into Ryu's heart. Let's find the best place!
right? So now we start getting into Rue's philosophy, right? What he believes in. His mental, if you will. Just like that. That's bird poop. <laughs> you wonder how he got his bike here as well, right? <laughs> That's what he did. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about this already. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't really introduced this character yet, right? <laughs> oh, um, see, there we go. You can be one too! <laughs> Alright, so again, going back to sort of like the mental aspect of all this. <laughs> Why is a ghost afraid of a ghost, eh? I don't quite remember, but I feel like they kind of fast-forwarded this as well. Uh, I do believe in the manga they took a bit longer to, to get up here. Right. 
And, um, obviously, Yamata no Orochi really is just a sort of a, you know, folktale in regards to, which is used to describe flooding, basically. Oh, and he's actually just going to explain it right here. Right. Water gift and water take the way. Wait. Did they seriously? S What the hell? They just completely skipped over the scene where he actually got this skill? Okay, I am not okay with that. Oh wait, I... I... F I have to check after afterwards, but I'm pretty sure that there was a very key scene in the flashback. Hey. And of course, we gotta have like the chance going on now. <laughs> no, but seriously, these are just such such a bunch of. DX loss. Like, look at those things. <laughs> They're like from a completely different, completely different work, completely different manga, completely different anime. <laughs> but it's actually part of what makes Shaman Kick so fun as well, just because of it's just like a mishmash of all these various different elements. Hmm. 
I recalled... I recall Yo being a lot more uh, grim about the entire situation than this shown here, but... Yeah, Yo is not exactly pleased with him. How exactly do you get mechanical stuff as spirits, right? Look at that. <laughs> uh, man, I want to spoil something so badly, but... Hey, we have a local here. And look at their weaponry. <laughs> uh, the x wells definitely aren't playing around. And of course, all named after Archangels and whatnot.
At this point in time... Yeah, probably. Hm. At this point in time, I don't think... Okay, his brow. That's you. Yeah. Uh ho! Ho oh, ho ho! Oh wait, since they're here, that that also means. She's like a big star, you know, like with her eyeglasses and all that. I mean, sunglasses. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> okay, they better not f up. No, oh, next episode there, because it contains one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> Alright, see you guys after this. So there we have it, guys. In episode 16, we finally have the x -Laws. Oh, man, they are, um... Well, honestly, you could consider them kind of like a meme, but, you know, you gotta admit, they are bright and shiny and quite strong, right? Um, if there's, if there's one thing, you know, I think even at this point, probably a lot of people, uh, who are watching it for the first time might be thinking, hey, these guys seem kind of suspicious and, and so on and so forth, right? And, I mean, anytime a group is antagonistical to the main character, obviously, you, you know, normal, you know, normal logic would dictate that you would be suspicious of them. But, you know, one thing's for certain, the x laws are strong. Right, let's let's not let's be clear about that. Um, so um, yeah, at this point in time, Yo definitely has no way of, of defeating them. That will come a little bit later, right? As such as you know, at the end of this episode where we finally see Anna once again, there of course to deliver the um, you know, I'm not even going to the, the Cho the Cho. Uh, never mind. I don't I don't I can never remember how to pronounce it in in Japanese, so I'm not gonna try. But anyways, um. Yeah, so she is going to need to to deliver that to Yo ASAP. But of course, as we see at the very end, there it's Yo that showed up. I, sorry, not Yo. It's Hal that showed up. So, um, that part I'm really looking forward to it uh, in the next episode. But in any case, we will f talk about that in the next one. Um, I actually went back and checked uh the the Rue scene. So actually, I I re misremembered it. So I apologize on that part. I actually thought that um they would be able to to um. Ryu, I mean, he would only be able to fully uh, realize uh, that that particular ability, right? Utilizing the power of Dorochi um, with a specific scene there, but I think I'm misremembering with with something else with another scene and um, with another 
skill or ability, if you will. So my apologies on that part. I think they, they got most of the adaption um, there. Obviously, it was still a little bit sped up, but um, compared to a lot of other things, I think they, you know, it, it was done decently enough, right? Um, so not not gonna go too too far on that part. Obviously, it's just to let us know, okay, where Ryu is coming from, what he wants to do, and his abilities, right? Because um, you know, I think it it would be fair to to consider Ryu as maybe the weaker one of the group. You know, even just based on feeling and and not based on any you know concrete facts or or uh, measurement or or anything of that sort. But you know, he is still one of the main characters, right? As is uh, evidence in the opening. He is part of the team, part of the gang, and obviously he will have to carry his own weight as well in the future so um yeah that's that part um and i guess you know in regards to x laws and yo their relationship and whatnot and i think probably most uh worryingly if you will like if there's any kind of foreshadowing here it's definitely in Zurich's attitude to towards the x laws um and it makes it makes a lot of sense, right? The x laws are there who blatantly state that, hey, we are strong and we are all people who have lost something to how we, we want revenge against how. So they have one, you know, one ideology and one ideology only, and that is they want to defeat how, right? It is like perfect for Lizard, actually. You know, he, he wants uh, strong companions, he wants strength, and he wants, you know, to be with other like minded people who, who can defeat how, right? Who wants to defeat how. And clearly, Yo is. You know, even though, I mean, Yo is Yo, right? Uh, obviously, he's not he's not going to take too kindly to Hal's uh, methods and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not like he's going to be, uh, you know, dying to, or, or uh, killing himself in order to, to stop Hal or, or whatnot, right? He's taking a more laid back attitude. And obviously, it, it um, doesn't really help things that he is somewhat related to, to Hal, right? So those are all definitely things that are going to uh, weigh on Lucyric. Um And I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, I think even just in this episode, it's quite clear that this is going to cause a sort of rift, if you will, between them. Um, how it actually actualizes, though, no, well, I'm not going to spoil anything. We'll see in the future. But definitely at this point in time, Yo does not like any... He, he definitely hates extremists, right? If there's anything that that people who who follow the the path of neutrality more, it's that they hate extremists, and and you know I, I consider myself to follow Yo's philosophy a lot as well. I really hate it when when you know you go into either kind of extremes in any sort of ideology. So um, you know it, it would make sense that Yo just really can't stand for for this kind of thing. Uh, could he be a little bit too soft? I mean, I guess you could argue that he you know it. Why does he need to make such a big deal about killing and, and so on and so forth? Uh, I, I will admit that at that part, I'm a little lost as well, but hey, I mean, at the end of the day, Yo is still the main character of a shonen manga, right? A shonen anime. So he's still got to, you know, uh, embody those kinds of values, right? Like justice and, and, and that kind of stuff. Except that I still think that more so than most, uh, Yo is a little bit more relaxed towards this, right? Like even in this episode, um, his his only, you know, his only goal at that point in time was just to prevent the x laws from killing that dude, uh, Bill, was it, right, who was lying there, and once the x laws left, he was just like, oh, okay, I, I broke my sword, no big deal, I mean, they, they've left, the situation is dissolved, I can go back to being calm and cheerful once again. Um, you know, this happy-go-lucky attitude might come back to bite him sometime, but, um, at least not at this point. So, um, oh yeah, and I was just, I, uh, I, I kind of remember, kind of forgot about this. I was going to check if Shaman King, uh, was going to be, was going to be delayed next week due to the Olympics and whatnot. I believe so. Hold on. Let me just check real quick with the, let me just check real quick on Twitter and whatnot. Yeah, uh, I think next episode Yep, yep, they are saying that um, they are going to be changing the the broadcast time, right? So, yeah, uh, I think, um, you know, if, if I still need any confirmation about that, I will, you know, post it down below and whatnot. But uh, basically, you know, we, a one week of break in order to, to, I think it's to cover the, the opening ceremony of the Olympics or something of that sort. But anyways, uh, I will see you guys next time whenever it picks up once again. Until then, bye guys.